receiver room, which is a question we've had all throughout the off season. Um, you know, that the, there was the DeAndre Hopkins sweepstakes for a little bit there. Um, you know, we kind of stuck with the guys that we had in the room and we're seeing now why we did that. We're seeing Justin Ross flourish. I know everyone hoped that he would do this and he's, I mean, he, he you, you talked about on our show this past week on our podcast, Chief Concerns, you wanted to see like a flashy play. Like, yeah, he showed some route running. We saw, we talked about possibly being the red zone guy with Jody Fortson being gone. We saw that potential. And I think we, I think we saw that today, JD. Talk to yeah. me about what, what were your thoughts when you saw that? Yes, sir. Man, look, I stood up out of my chair and I started clapping. I'm like, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I've been looking for a big body to catch a fade ball in the back of the end zone, throw it up, let him go get it. And he did, man. He climbed the ladder, went up and got that joker, and it looked good. And I was just sitting there thinking, like, man, this is this is the type of guy we needed. But we knew he was athletic. We knew that. We knew uh, he had this potential in him. Uh, they've been talking about it. We see it in college. The question was, how, how fast he was going to be able to develop that? And the thing is, I'm glad they called that play, right? I mean, they called that play for specifically for him. Uh, and so that's that's promising to see a guy like that. And I, I seen I don't know if everybody seen my, my little Twitter page, but I said, man, it reminds me of one of my favorite shows when I was younger. Eight is enough. But number eight out there making a play, he's going to be enough for us. Uh, but I'm, I'm very happy for him, man, going out here and, and doing what he did. Yeah, and also, I think the, the cool thing about that was at that same moment that he catches that touchdown pass, Brett Beach is in the booth talking to Trent Green. And okay. he said, like, I think, you know, I think he's going to have a big year, essentially, saying big things are coming for him. And it's like, okay, well, there you go. For all the people who thought he was on the cusp of not even making the roster, well, I think we – that we heard the GM, and I know GMs always, always say a lot of things, but when they talk like that, you're like, okay. And Raptor, he's making a jump ball touchdown like that. I think uh, he's not he's not a, a, on the fringe of making the roster. I think he's uh, he's gonna have a good role in, on this team this year. Listen, that that sounds like somebody who was proud of the pick that he made. Had a little bit of like you know the like you know pop my collar there. You know what I mean? Just, you know for for picking the guy that everybody was pretty much you know off on because of the medical history that he had. Uh, but Britt Beach took a chance and he sees it. He sees like what this guy was, was able to show. And, and of course, man, it was, it was, it was just money. And, and, and like I said, like a proud parent is seeing it though. But yeah, just that I don't think is a question uh, for us. I don't think it was. Matter of fact, the last preseason game, uh, one thing I talked about was consistency, right? We want to see guys that go out there that's going to be consistent, especially with the swaps we have now. We got a lot of young guys as wide receivers. And I don't think it was a question between one to four or even maybe five, but maybe even five was a little question today uh, because of, uh, and I'm sure we'll probably allude to, you know, maybe uh, uh, Rasheed Rice, uh, maybe not having a, a great day, you know. But, look, that, that, that happens, okay? He, he, he's a young guy. Uh, but when you have guys in front of you that are kind of solidified, they, they, they have a little bit of experience, uh, you can kind of lean on those guys. And those are the guys that we know we can lean on. Uh, we're just looking at the guys that can be consistent behind them to say, hey, if these guys get hurt, can this guy fill in? Can he, you know, fit the bill to what we need to do offensively? Rasheed Rice has all the tools, uh, athletically, the speed, everything like that. He's got pretty. He's got good hands. He got good hands. You know, he, you know I think somebody said he, he missed three passes or something like that. Man, three drops oh, today. Yeah, that. Come on. You know, it could be jitters. It could be whatever. Uh, but I, I don't really have any question as far as in his ability. Uh, I think just part of it is just him being able to develop fast enough and i think he has the time yeah he'll have the time to develop especially in this offense with the guys in front of him so when you say jitter so like and we talked about on, the, on our chief concerns podcast this week that like you talk about the jitters right you know it's, he's a rookie he's, these are his first three games he's played in the national football league you know preseason but still these are the first three games in the big leagues yeah he had a, he had, i think he had two drops in, in the first uh, game he had one drop uh game two and then this today he had three drops. That's six drops in preseason. I know it's preseason. I'm not going to make a big deal about it. I think they made a big deal about Jamar Chase having a drop, uh, having Butterfingers problems when he was a rookie. Now, obviously, we know how that's turned out. So I'm not going to try to make a big deal about it, but it may not be a big deal, but it is something to watch, right? It's something, it's something to be kind of mindful of, right? Or no? I mean, you can be mindful of it. I mean, it's always going to be an evaluation on a guy, especially who your draft pick, you know, a high draft pick. Uh, oh my God, what did this guy do? How, you know, how did he perform? You know, and so the, the drops are glaring. You know, some some catches were like, okay, maybe you should have made this one. The one over the shoulder, that's it's, it's hard, you know, because it's dropping out of the air and you're trying to run up underneath it and you're trying to get the flight of the ball. And it's always got to be, you know, kind of perfect. And it's always like you got to go back into, uh, you know, your technique on catching the football. 
It's one of those things, especially when you're wide open too. That's another thing. When you're wide open, everybody's watching. There ain't no question about it. Everybody's watching. You just tell yourself, I got to get it. I got to catch it. I got to catch it. And sure enough, bam, he, you know, he drops it. But uh, look, it's, it's going to be a long season. We got this guy for a reason. He's going to develop. I don't have any uh, any question about him. Uh, we give him time. We give him time. I, 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 like I said, man, we, we've everybody that's kind of come in has kind of gone through a little bit of this somewhat. So uh, it's not a big deal for me. It's not. So obviously we'll get into more on our podcast this week. Um, if you are tuning in for the first time, seeing JD and I, we have a podcast chief concerns. You can find it on YouTube, anywhere you get your podcasts. Um, but we could probably dive into more of the predictions of the, of the, of the year coming up. But Ross is a, this is his first year. He had he pretty much, you know, this is his rookie year, but it's still a second year in a league, right? So he's yeah. been, he was he was around the team last year. He, he was been in the meetings, all that stuff. This is Rice's first year. So when it comes to this season, and let's assume both guys make the team, which I think both guys will, and yeah. um, which yeah. we think we think that. Who do you think has a bigger year as far as uh, yards, catches? And obviously, we know Andy Reid's track record as far as rookies producing in their first year. And that's which is not really much. Rookies don't really produce in this offense, um, as far as Andy Reid being in uh, Kansas City. If you look, if you look down the, the history of it, but who do you who do you expect to see more out of uh, during the season between Rice and Ross? Uh, to be honest with you, they they may split time. They may be somewhere around about the same snap count. I mean, it just depends on how everything shakes out during the season. You know, with Kadarius Tony and his injury. Uh, you know, we kind of talked about that. Is that something that they they may still be looking to push him, maybe to IR, or maybe just hold him out a couple of games? You know, what is that going to look like? Uh, but you know, you got MVS, you got Justin Watson, you got Sky Moore, you got uh, uh, Mr. James, of course. Uh, so we got some capable guys that's there already uh, that can catch the football. Not to mention Travis Kelsey, who was going to get probably the, the majority of the catches. We got some good backs to catch the ball out the backfield. So it's not like we. We lack him receivers or somebody catching the football. Uh, the two young guys will, will get, they'll get, you know, reps, no doubt about it. Justin Watson, to me, uh, maybe get the nod because of what he's been able to do. They've been talking him up. I think he kind of moves into that fifth spot now where maybe Rasheed Rice was that guy. And now maybe a little bit of a setback, right? Because he's like, okay, he's not quite ready yet. He's, he's still trying to grow to get there. But to me, Justin uh, 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 Ross, he's ready. He's ready to perform. He's ready to get out there and make some plays, man. And I think he's got that because he's been in this offense. He's been around the guys. They they have a little bit more uh, relationship with one another, okay? And so that's a good thing for him to be here. Even though he hadn't played a, a game, a physical game yet, like, you know, a real NFL football game, he's got the experience of just being in the locker room, being on the offense, knowing what, the, you know, is expected out of him. And I think that kind of gives him a nod in this situation. Yeah. But I mean, that that's obviously you've been in many lockers, so you know that that's well, either not being there physically, you're yeah. still taking notes mentally and doing all the things mentally, being in the wide receiver room with the guys. You've been around the playbook, you know what's expected of you. So you, he already has that one side down. Now he's just putting together on the field, which so far he's doing a pretty good job of that. Yeah, man. Look, Rookie's going to always come in and tiptoe around a little bit, right? Justin Ross, because he has that one year on his belt. Uh, or, or like I said, he's a little bit more comfortable with the guys. But yeah, he's 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 definitely going to have, uh, you know, a, a little bit more. I, I say maybe confidence in playing and going out there. Right to him, he's like, look, man, I'm I'm an undrafted guy. Okay, Rasheed Rice is he's your your top pick, so it's going to be a little difference here as far as expectation or not. So he's like, man, I'm going no holes barred in this thing, and the more I can do, the better off I'm going to be. And so if he goes out to perform. The more people are going to pat him on his back, the more he's going to keep out there and keep shining. Uh, and that's great. We always talk about that, you know, just him, just what he's been able to overcome, just a great story behind this thing. So, yeah, man. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.